<laughs> you don't? Oh, you don't? Like, just eight seconds. Just very recently. Huh. That's big news. <laughs> He's handsome. So uh, what big news do you have for us? Mm. <laughs> well... <laughs> uh, what do you want to know? Everything. That's oh. rather broad. Okay, let me let me start. How many episodes are you directing this season? Are you directing the crossover? Well, um, it was kind of a split thing. It was it was a difficult decision. Um, I've directed the last you know three or four. Remember, I'm not tired of that. Um, but this year I'm directing 801 the premiere. I'm directing 809, um, and I'm directing the series finale 810. The crossover is 808, and that'll be directed by Glenn Winter. So I couldn't do, I just couldn't do that. It was just physically impossible. Um, and it was a toss up between that and that, but the, the series finale is, uh, I'd actually rather be doing that. Has there been anything that you've really wanted to do that now you're like, oh, this is our final season, you know, we've got to do it? A fight sequence or something? Always. And I, there's laundry lists of stuff. Um, and every season, I go back to that list and I go, okay, I wanted to do this, this, this. Um, or I did it. Like I was telling um, those folks in that direction, we only have a 42 minute broadcast time. Whereas, like Daredevil, they, they have a full hour. They can do a 10 minute one or, you know, I can't because there has to be the rest of the episode and it'll get chopped in, into bits and we can't risk that. So we have to be very precise and surgical with, with how we deliver our action, for instance. So whenever we do something that we're really proud of and then because broadcast time, sometimes it gets cut, you know, later, it's very disappointing. So whenever something that is spectacular that we really love gets cut, I always write it down and go, I'm coming back to this, I'm putting I'm putting this in, no matter what. So I'm continually doing that. I'm, I'm always like, what haven't I done? What haven't I done? Let's try not to do ourselves. And I've, you know, I've got literally a list on my phone of um, this, 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 that, this, this. Maybe at the end we can have all of the cool cut scenes all just mm-hmm. put together. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, well, I, yeah, that's something else discussing over there was putting together um, a director's cut of all like all my episodes that that I directed. I wanted to that I wanted the fans to see um, you know what that would look like. like the, quite often, like I said 42 minute broadcast time. Quite often, the episodes when they're, the director's cut is delivered are like 10 minutes overtime, sometimes 15 minutes overtime, sometimes six minutes overtime. But there's a lot that happens in 10 minutes uh, television series that you don't get to see. And there's a lot of really, really cool moments and, and uh, visuals um, and emotional uh, stuff, scenes that have just never been seen by the public eye that I love for everyone to see. Um, and somehow I want you know people to get to that. And you know, and you, people yell at you on Twitter. They well, really hard with their hands. Um, they yell like, like that. For, you didn't do that right. I'm like, I'm not gonna every time go. Well, I got cut out. You know, nothing I could do about it. Um, but you know, I do feel poorly that you know everybody doesn't get what they want. But it's almost impossible to make everybody happy because. All the fans are so, we've discussed this before, all the fans are so completely different. And, you know, everybody wants something different. You can't please everybody all the time. Um, you just have to make a creative choice and go with it and have an opinion and that's it. You know, this is what's up. So I want to talk, because you're, you, you've really been part of the heart that is Arrow since the first season. You know, you started a stunt creator and then you've gone up to producer and director and so on. Talk about this journey, the journey you've been on for the last eight years, and like, what are you gonna miss about it? And what are you take, what are you taking with, with you to your next pro- project you're doing? Huh. Perseverance, uh, I would say, is what I'd be taking with me. Um, I started very, you know, I came on. I was doing a movie in Cuba. Got a phone call. Hey, uh, what would you do if uh, if uh, you had a character that was like a CIA agent? He was kind of like James Bond. He was an Olympic level athlete. And he was a world class martial artist, and he could do parkour. Like, blah, blah, blah. 
no, no, how would you train him? And no, no, no. I was like, oh, I do this. Anyway, and I, they said, where are you? I said, I'm in Cuba right now. And they're like, oh, well, talk to me. Give me a call when you get back. Okay. Hi, how's it going? Hey, can you come down here right now. Next thing you know, I'm teaching Stephen martial arts and uh, uh, training him for the pilot. And they were like, oh, we can't have a fight choreographer on staff. And then David Nutter goes, we have to find a way to pay you. Let's put you in a scene. We'll break your neck. And, uh, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. and I'm like, okay, whatever. So I got a cre- the credit as that guy. Um, the first one he killed, basically. Yes, the, the first one he kills. You can't know my secret. Um, and that's me. And then I um, uh, just stayed on as a fight choreographer. The, the original plan was to alternate fight choreographers. And then I started shooting Greg in season two, and I was always talking about, about directing. I went to Greg in season two, and he's like, "Okay, you want to direct? I uh, really love what you've done. And I'm to the show. I'll give you an opportunity in season four." And Greg Valenti is a man of honor and a man of his word. And the next thing you know, uh, I was, um, and I loved that first episode, and then they another one. And, you know, the rest as far as the uh, producer. Uh, situation happened I have no idea how that happened because they you earned me and said hey well we're thinking of making it I'm like okay <laughs> thank you fantastic um, and it has to do with the contribution to the show and and the um, being the heart of the show they, they tell me um, uh, as far as that goes uh, I feel you know, very honored and uh, very fortunate to have been put in this position. And um, I've never taken where I am for granted, whether it have been like a stuntman, you know, David Duchovny stunt double back on X Files, and to this day now, like every day, no matter what I'm doing, I'm pinching myself, going, "Wake up! Oh no, I'm not waking. Oh, okay, I guess this is real." And it's I'm just very, very fortunate, and I know it. So um, I try to live every day knowing that and being grateful, and that's all I can be. And we are grateful Thanks so much. for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, another one. My, I'll get you a Red Bull if you come in. Oh, please. I'm going to bribe you. Oh, if. Oh, if. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know? Drop the mic. No, I won't. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.